Alrighty then. So yeah, this one is a lot better than before. We're hopping on balloons, which is a lot fun, and it's really foggy in this stage um, without all the platforms. You can actually notice all this fog. The view in this level is magnificent. I mean, you can see this little section all the way from over there. For most of this first part, there will not be any rings. But these guys you are able to kill. I can't believe I wasn't able to kill them. That was very unlucky. You would get um, um, a small amount of boost points out of those guys, but that's actually a bad thing. You want to waste it if you ever get those boost points, because it might screw you over. Mainly in this whole section where you got a home attack onto that hook. If you miss that home attack, you're dead right away. You got to get it just right. And those rings I just passed were impossible to get. Wow, that's the most rings I got out of that section. Ever. Yep, little shortcut. Alright, um... Wow. Wow. Just fucking wow. That misfired completely 100%. What the?! Alright, I'm gonna restart. I'm failing. Big time. But why the hell did Sonic just miss that balloon? You know what, don't answer that. I think I already know. It's because that... It's just because how they work out the home attack. Oh well. Ignoring the, the unresponsive controls, the game's still pretty fun. Alright. Wow, I actually killed two of those guys. I was never able to do that. Anyway, you want to waste all that um, boost energy for when you got a hoe attack on that hook. This part's really easy. Wow, that was the first time I actually grabbed those rings. As I just said, they're impossible. But I typically miss all the other rings. Oh! What the fuck just happened? Alright. Um. I was. What's the. Uh. Um. Um. Alright. Um. That was. Weird. Uh, oh, yeah. As you clearly saw, about those electric guys, they can uh, make you lose rings, but they can never, ever kill you. If you're out of rings and you get shocked by them, you will not die. Alright, first time I actually got hit by that. Oh boy! If you messed this up, I could have had a cool. There's a little secret area down there that I uh, found in the first walkthrough, but I'm not gonna bother to show you because it'll just take longer. Yep, guess what just happened? The boost didn't respawn again. I was trying to hit that rain. A lot of trick springs in this level. Is Why the fuck do I always push the wrong button there? Alright, be careful which button you press. There's also a whole lot of these missile guys. Alright then, whee! You just gotta, uh, um, uh, avoid the springs as you go down. It's a pretty neat gimmick. See that block right, that box right there? Um, you can destroy it, but you might get hurt, um, in the process, but there's nothing in it. So there's no way... Son of a bitch. There's no real point to hurting it. Oh boy. Wow. Alright. Normally boosting there would kill you, but I boosted there and lived through it. But I completely missed that hook when it was supposed to hit it. Pointless one up. Whee! It would be wise to boost there. Get some speed points. Not that that's going to do any good since I died epically. 
but we are at the end. Most of the time, the shield robots will push you away, fisting into them. Kind of rare when it doesn't happen. Alright, what is my grade? Uh, yeah, it's good enough. I'll just backtrack here. Alright. Now we're gonna do um, a really fun level. So just let me push right away. I hate the selection screens in this game, they're so messed up. I mean, they're so slow moving. So, um... We are, like, running on the Great Aqueduct from the night level, only it's sunset and we're, run and we're gonna uh, fight these guys along the way. So, and the best part, no checkpoints whatsoever. So if you fail, You'll have another chance. What? Never mind. There's also a lot of those, um, ramps that, like, trip you, in case you haven't noticed those. Yeah, um, you want to watch out for those if you're trying to S rank this. So, here's a little button prompt, which is good. Here we go. Alright, and here we go. Just like um, in Act 1, don't bother going for the rings, just kill all the enemies, because you might lose the rings. They don't give you rings on, points on pickup for rings. Oh. Alright, that was odd. Whoa, that scared me a little. Wait a minute, where are those guys, are they, are they not supposed to glitch? Alright. Okay, I'm slightly failing this level, but I'm pretty sure those enemies are supposed to be here. Alright, then. Yep. Wow. Just what? Those... Those guys actually glitched out. Holy crap. I... That has never happened before. They actually glitched out. Also, if you missed the goal ring, guess what would have happened? You would have ran right off the edge and had to do the stage over. Yeah, they had one little hazard behind the goal. But still, those guys just poofed and disappeared. I could have had more points if they stayed, but... Oh, uh, well. Hey, Beetle, no thanks. Alright, we're gonna do, um, another really cool level. Burr in the skies of Spigonia. Nope, sadly it's not a tornado. But this all is pretty cool. First of all, I want to attack off these dudes. I'm gonna attack the electric dude. And I wanna take this right right upper path. If you take the left lower path, you aren't gonna get an S. Yep, alright, there are two light dashes there, unexpected. Boost here, get the rainbow ring. Don't attack it, hope the light dash responds good. Wee, wee, wee. Holy crap. Holy crap! Oh, that slightly scared me. Alright, that was, um... See, that was a really fun level. A lot of hopping and jumping and whatnot. Alright, let's... Spugonia, not Musconia, or what I was about to say, is done. Let us, um... Chunan or Hulop. You know what, I'm gonna just go... Go on, right on, do Chunan, because... I was never a fan of the Chunan levels. I was a fan of some of them, but not all of them. So we're gonna do them.